I invite you to get a little more closer to the farmers. And that is the reason I represent the farmers. I am taking the first step ahead and you are invited. Uh, together we can do a lot of things. Good work. I'd like to start my short presentation with a Sanskrit uh, shloka. Uh, the agriculture commissioner already recited that, but it was just part of the presentation. This is the beginning of it. Sarve bhavantu sukhina, sarve santu niramaya, sarve bhadrani pashyantu, ma kashit dukhbhakave, om shanti, shanti, Shanti Such a deep meaning shloka this is. If you want peace for yourself, you have to learn to give peace to others. If you want respect for yourself, you have to learn to respect others. If you want prosperity for yourself, you have to ensure that the people around you are also becoming prosperous. They are also growing. And this is what we need to think about the farmers. I as a representative of the farmers, we also need to think that the industry must prosper, the country must prosper. It is not only I, me and myself here. That is what this shloka means. Every one of us, the whole network of speakers who have been here and who are, are going to come after me, are like an individual diamond. But the value of individual diamonds is not as much as a whole necklace. All the diamonds put together will not value as much as the necklace and we need to now knot this necklace together. This, this event today needs to pay the roadmap of knotting these diamonds, individual diamonds into a necklace so that we can have a better tomorrow. Transforming cotton productivity, the right period is now. Indian economy is growing like anything but what we need to do is ensure the sustainability of the growth. Any ha anything happening in Europe, America, Africa, or any part of the world must not impact India as much as it is right now if we are inherently strong and agriculture can be the fundamental of that strength. Next slide, please. India's farm exports growing exponentially from 35 billion USD, 41 billion USD, 50 billion USD. We are growing, yes, but where? rice, it consumes a lot of water. I'm not against any crop, but we need to realize what tomorrow holds in um, uh, pressure for us, where the opportunity lies. Second is meat and marine. Again, it's not something that we can say it's very sustainable. Then it's sugar. Sugar cane is also a very uh, high water um, absorbing crop and not grown throughout the country. Of course, it is grown in three to four states. And then comes cotton. Cotton is grown in 11 states of India. It is one of the integral part of the textile industry. The supply chain is one of the longest in all commodities. That is why increasing the productivity in cotton is so vital. One reason. I'll come to the other reason. Cotton, the white gold of India. Why the white gold? 7,000 years of documented history. Pre Mohenjo-daro, 3,000 years before Mohenjo-daro, also there were some uh, remains of cotton that we had in India. Till 12th century, India was a leading exporter because of cotton textiles and spices. And now, even today, we are seeing that opportunity. China plus one is a big opportunity for textiles in India. And again, here, cotton is an integral part. It can be a very integral part of that growth. Not just a commodity, but a composite economy. 65 million farmers, the largest cash crop in India, growing cotton. Please don't change the slide when I uh, don't ask you to. Please go to the back. Thank you. I, what I want to enhance is where we stand in cotton. Cotton is cultivated in 12.5 million hectares of land, 125 lakh hectares of land, which is four times the size of China. And that is where, again, the gap lies. 37% of world cotton area is India, but only 25% of world production happens in India. So here is one of the gaps that I want to highlight today. Textile industry, 140 billion USD, with an exports of 44 billion, aiming at 100 billion exports in the next three to four years. How can we achieve that? Again, consumption going up. We will need by 2026, 45 million bales of cotton. Right now, we are producing. Next slide, please. 
this is what we are producing. I invite you to check 2009 and 2022. The BT revolution happened 2003 to 2009. The escalation came between 2006 and 2009. We peaked in 2009. But then we are seeing an up and down period. We have never peaked again so much as we did that time and now we are seeing the downward trend. We, the crop is nearly equivalent to the 2009 period where the area has gone up by 10%. We are consuming 10% more area but we are not producing that much more cotton and the industry badly needs if we have to achieve that 100 billion exports in textiles, the second foreign uh, exchange earner sector for India. We need more cotton, but we do not need to increase the area. That is so important. Next slide, please. The five-point mantra. Please don't change the slide unless I tell you, I, I request you. The five-point mantra. We at All India Cotton Farmer Producer Organization made a panel of the highest cotton yield farmers across India from about eight states of India. We made study of the technology that you are using, the system that they are using, we discussed with the research institutes of India, is this technology viable, applicable and they gave their suggestion based on all this study and research and suggestions. I am now presenting the five point mantra in, in front of this uh, August audience, enriching soil with regenerative, please go to the back side. Enriching soil with regenerative agri inputs using livestock, biotech and plant waste. This has to be utilized. This is a treasure that we have. Every part of a plant is useful. It has to be utilized in that manner that it brings more productivity to the soil. The soil has to be enriched because the soil of India is not compatible to the BT growth. BT started in 2003. We did nothing else to ensure that the soil is compatible to that seed. So we need to enrich the soil, number one, by regenerative agriculture. Second is sowing must be north to south. The common sowing in India is east to west. There is a size behind it. The sun moves east to, east to west. The sowing is east to west. So every plant has a shadow on the subsequent plant. Whenever it's a low sunlight area or days of long duration of rain which are happening right now, the productivity of cotton immediately goes down. Here it is different. The sowing is not to south. The sun moves east to west. So throughout the day, from sunrise to sunset, there is equivalent light available, sunlight available for photosynthesis for every plant. And this is not my own idea. This is the best system that India's leading farmers are employing and they are getting the highest yield. Irrigation and fertigation. This need not be highlighted. It has been highlighted in the past session. Irrigation is the need of the hour. And fertigation, application of fertilizers through irrigation. We save a lot there. And we need to save every found that we can. Detopping of cotton plant, this is again not very common. The cotton plant normally grow to a height of 5 to 6 feet, but once they cross that height of 4 to 5 feet, they need to be detopped. Why? Because what we need is not vertical growth. We need horizontal growth, we need ball weight, we need more branches, we need more size per ball, and this we have found through research and analysis, this works best. And use of Technology for farm mapping, weather update and yield assessment. This is also very important. Why? We need to map rainfall also. Like a country like Brazil has done that. Yeah. just interrupting. Sorry yeah. for interrupting. Because uh, as organizers are told that uh, time... Uh, yeah, I'll complete in the... Because we need to uh, uh, see... Because two other speakers are also there. Sure. And, uh, and, and then in between some other, another session will also start. Immediately, that could start at any time. Sure. So, so we need to manage the time. I'll be very brief, and uh, I thought I was allotted Otherwise, 10 minutes, and I plan to complete in that time because there are only two more slides to show after this. So, so, this, so, this was the core that this is the six year study that we are presenting here for the first time in, in front of all of you. And if there is a policy based on this study, I am uh, sure that productivity of cotton will go up. I have already explained the need to you. Next slide, please. Now, how or who has it been done before? We have applied this in uh, a very dry, barren land, 100 acre land in, in Maratwada, which was a three year drought uh, year uh, for that uh, area. 65 board wells in that area, not a single drop of water. And we applied this technology, and this is totally recorded throughout the year. We sold seeds of six seed companies 
all the seed the all the seed germinated well with this technology only one thing is missing from that mantra is irrigation this land was still unirrigated we thought that we should try it in drain fed this is the result of that um, experiment next slide so with productivity will also come power and with power comes responsibility we need to be responsible to the need of the our climate change is impacting affecting even the crop uh, our output as well as our lives directly so these three things carbon emission plastic waste and chemicals need to be taken care of we need to be more responsible ultimately we need to be more sustainable so regenerative agriculture cost effective agri inputs enhancement of productivity and quality is what we need what the agriculture commissioner um, mentioned that that the sanskruti should be such that our uh, vikruti goes away and it has to be implemented by takniki then it will bring pragati next slide why why cotton cotton is a natural eco friendly renewable resource one bale of cotton has the potential to give employment to five people across the world mitigate climate change more more carbon sequestration 100% biodegradability and water consumption is very very limited it grows in very dry parched areas of even rajasthan and kutch next slide you can see the by products which come out of cotton why productivity is important with productivity will come application of by products value added product this will bring more income to the farmers so that they can spend more money on enhancing the soil health and and ultimately enhancing the productivity so this becomes also part of the whole ecosystem next slide please to conclude cotton is not just a commodity but a composite economic critical need to increase productivity with focus on sustainability people planet and profit we should not miss that the five point mantra i have already shared with you all there has to be a policy decision in that it can be deliberated with us or or any scientist group and we need to have a policy to achieve the national goal of 5f farm to fiber fiber to factory factory to fashion and fashion to foreign we need the four p's we need people private public partnership we need funding we need projects i invite all the corporate groups who are here you can try a project with us let us make a successful model next year in this same conference we can uh, show a case study of the same on behalf of the farmers just two lines khud hi ko kar bolan dete na khud hi ko kar bolan dete na ke har new agri input ke introduction se pehle manufacturer khud tumse puche bol teri raza kya hai Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Manish, for a nice presentation. We wanted to talk to you more, but anyway, it might have created a kind of curiosity among us, all of us. Yes, there are many points which we wanted to ask you, but because of the shortage of time, as I, I have been told by the organizers, that we need to 